In this video, I took two random clubs from the Venerama National League North and South and gave them a billion pounds each to see just how much they can improve in a hundred years. The first team is Western Super Mare from the Vanarama National League South, and they are now owned by a billionaire who has invested one billion into the club. The second club is Gloucester from the Vanarama National League North, and they also get one billion pounds, and we will see just how well they do in 100 years. We're going to be simming 10 years and seeing how much progress they have made in that time. And the first 10 years have come to an end, and Western Supermere sit in fifth place in the Vanarama National League South. It's been unfortunate for them because, in reality, you can look at the league right here, and since they've got the money, they've finished 7th, 13th, 4th, 4th, 6th, 3rd, 8th, and 5th, and that's about 5 or 6 playoff losses, which is quite unfortunate. But what they have achieved is winning the FA Trophy Final. Obviously, the FA Trophy's for the Vanarama teams. So it's a trophy one, at least. They are a professional club, as you can see. So they've upgraded from semi-professional. In terms of transfers, now we're just going to quickly go through this. They spent 2K. They spent 27,000, which is quite a lot for the South. They spent 37,000. And then another 20K, 13K. Then they spent nothing. 2K, 1K, nothing. 80! They spent 80k in the Vanarama National League South, and that's actually quite impressive because they sold 175k. They sold this guy, who actually has some really good stats, a goalkeeper, former Tottenham man. I mean, he was too good for the South. But they've spent quite a lot of money so far, and as you can see, the finances are pretty ridiculous. They have a 300k wage budget in the Vanarama National League South, which is outrageous. They have a 200 million transfer budget, which is brilliant. But their balance is already 530 million. I'm concerned about what they've spent that on, to be honest. And in terms of the other club, Gloucester, they sit fourth in Skybet League 2. They've had a great run so far. Unfortunately, this season, they did lose the playoff finals 3-2 in extra time, which is heartbreaking. But in terms of their rise... They actually surprisingly got relegated in the first season with the money, finishing 24th, and it took two years to come back. They nearly got promoted, then they did get promoted in the playoffs, then they got promoted again in the playoffs, back-to-back -back promotions, and now they're just sitting in Skybet League 2 with a high finish this season. They were just unlucky to miss out. As you can see in the honours, they haven't won any trophies, so they haven't won an FA trophy or anything like that. Obviously, they haven't won a league title, so they're yet to get off the mark for trophies which is something Western have above them, but yet again, they are in Vanarama South, and these guys are in League 2. In terms of transfers, they spent 10k, and then obviously, they weren't in the leagues. They spent 5k, 300k. That must have been the year they got promoted. That's ridiculous. They, they bought George Shelby for 235,000, who played 23 games for them, and then left for free. That's unreal. And they spent 145k, 62k, 110k, 245k, 675 they bought Roger Davies from Sohol Moors. He's only played 20 games. And he's leaving on a free transfer. Okay, who's spending the money here? They're making countless errors. And then in this last season, they spent 550k. Steve Morris, their next big signing. And he actually played some games. Fair enough. Okay, that, that's fine. You're going to spend so much money on a player. At least let him play. He's 154 centimeters tall. What the hell? This guy's five foot. He is tiny. He's a small bastard. That's unreal. In terms of their finances, they still have 700 million sitting in the bank balance. Obviously, they have the 200 million balance. And obviously, they have a 200 million transfer budget. But they have a 780,000 wage budget. In terms of managers, this guy's been here for nearly six years. Gary Dicker, what a name. The Irishman has been cooking here. He has some really good, good stats, to be fair. He's been doing well. Hopefully, he can continue to become a legend of the club. Theo Walcott has been the caretaker manager. Interesting. And as you can see, the training facilities, I think, have been improved quite a lot. 16 training facilities that are on par with some of the biggest clubs in the world, really. That is really impressive. And just before we look at how the clubs are progressing after 20 years, if you like the video so far and you don't mind dropping a like, I do appreciate it and subscribing at the same time. And if you want to leave a comment saying what FM experiment you'd like to see, I would really appreciate it. But now we are in 2043, 20 seasons on. And as you can see, Western Supermare. Uh, 18th in the National League. They managed to win promotion in 2035-2036 season where they finished top of the league winning another trophy before slowly climbing from 19th 
to ninth to then winning the league again. 2038 to 39, they made it to Skybet League 2, but unfortunately finished 24 for the next season. And since then, they finished 8th, 9th, and obviously 18 this season. And as you can see, Western Supermare have won the FA Trophy again. And that was the same season they got promoted from the National League. So they won the double that season. So they've got a good little trophy haul cooking here. They're sitting with one league title and two English FA Trophies since the billionaire takeover. And as you can see from these records, the highest ever transfer fee spent is 108000 to sign Dunders from Tamworth, who played 10 games. That's excellent. And he's transferless. Money well spent. A lot of money has been made from the transfer fees, so they're making a good amount. They've spent much more. They've received much more transfer fee than they have spent, which is always good. In terms of their finances, they still have 400 odd million in the bank balance. Obviously, their transfer budget is still ridiculously high. And they have a wage budget of 2.4 million in the fifth tier of England. <laughs> oh my god, that is ridiculous. They have a bigger wage budget. Then Blackburn Rovers, who just finished 20th in the Premier League, and they have nearly, well, they have over double it. They have a bigger wage budget than mid-table Southampton, so they have a Premier League budget in the fifth tier, and they're not getting promoted. That's not good enough. Now, in terms of Gloucester, I mean, Jesus, they're in the championship. Well, they were. They got relegated. They finished 22nd this season, but wow, look at the contrast. 20 years have gone by, and Gloucester were in the second tier. Obviously, the highest Western Super have made it was to the fourth tier, so they're doing bloody well. And as you can see, it's just constant progressions they got promoted from Skybet League 2, which is what we saw. Then they got 11th, 12th, 12th, 3rd, so they lost in the playoffs, 9th, and then won the league only three seasons ago, and then finished 15th and 17th, then getting relegated, so they spent two years in the championship. They're very close to making the Premier League. I'm very impressed. What the hell is this? 42.5 million spent this season in the championship to finish in relegation the money is being spent like crazy oh my god compare that to western it's a completely different story with their club record signing being michael costello who has played 40 games this season he's done okay for the 25 year old as you can see they spent two absolute mammoth amounts recently obviously this season they spent 42 million but when they first got promoted to the championship, they spent 62 million, which is an absolutely outrageous amount, but they are owned by a billionaire, so it makes sense. If we have a look at their finances, they've still got more bank balance than Western. I don't know what Western have spent their money on, really. How are they much lower than this? They've got a 3.7 million wage budget, which is probably comparable to the top six. And obviously they've got a massive transfer budget. So it'll be interesting to see how fast they can bounce back from League One. In terms of their facilities, wow. Okay, they've invested heavily. They've got 20 training facilities, which is excellent. 17 facilities for youth. That's excellent as well. They're really developing. Quite amazingly. And if we compare that to Western, I mean, it is far and above what they're doing. 10, 10, 9, 9. Not exactly setting the world alight with that. And another 10 years has passed and Western are still stuck in the Vanarama National League. They did manage to get promoted to League 2 in the 2047-48 season, but unfortunately only lasted three seasons as they just recently got relegated only two years ago, finishing 24. Finances-wise, they're somehow down to 300 million. I really do not know what they're spending their money on. It is unknown to me. Still got the same wage, still got similar transfer budget. They've improved their facilities a little bit over the last 10 years, but considering they're down to 300 million balance, I don't know where that 700 million's gone. But in terms of Gloucester, they sit 10th in League One. They're still here. We left them when they got relegated from the Championship, and they are unfortunately still in League One. But they did manage to bounce back to the Championship instantly from last time we saw them. They got relegated, then they got promoted, winning the title, finishing in 14th, 16th, 12th, 8th, then unfortunately getting relegated four seasons ago, and then finished in 11th, 9th, 19th in this season, and 10th. But in one of these seasons, they made 45 million off player sales, which is unreal. They sold this Peter guy, who they signed for 1.6 million ages ago, about seven years ago. They sold him for 17 million, which is impressive. 
And they did actually break their transfer record. What is this? They spent 31 million on Adam McKenzie and he only played 60 odd games for them. 31 million. That is an outrageous amount. But in terms of their facilities, unfortunately, their training facilities have been downgraded. They have increased a lot of the other facilities, but it is quite sad. Their training facilities were 20, but obviously sitting in the League One for too long makes it too expensive to run. Finance-wise, ooh, they're low, they're low, they're getting low now. Only 9.7 million left in the bank balance. They've spent somehow 500 million in the last 10 years, which is actually crazy. And their wage budget is way down to 112k. Remember the good old days when it was about 4 million? That's unfortunate. We are now in 2063, and Western are still in the Vanarama National League as they finished ninth this season. They did actually get promoted in 2056-57, and they nearly got promoted back-to-back -back to get to League One, but unfortunately they would have lost in the playoffs. And then the next season, they got relegated. And then they nearly got relegated to the Vanarama National League South, and then recovered and finished third last season, and this season finished in ninth. In terms of finances, they're getting a bit low now. Only 150 million left in the bank balance, and I don't know where their money is being spent. Their facilities have taken a slight increase, but nothing too special. They broke their transfer record fee when they signed Darren Barrett for 550,000, where he paid two seasons and then left on a free. Money well spent. But in terms of Gloucester, they've not really improved. They've just got promoted back to League One from League Two, winning the playoffs. As it's been a pretty bad little turn of events here. So they got promoted back to the championship, winning the playoffs in 2054, a year after we last saw them. Then they got relegated. Then they got sixth. Then they got relegated again. Then they got promoted from League Two. Then they got relegated again. Then they nearly got relegated, finishing 22nd in Skybet League Two. And now they're back in League One. It is just all up and down. It is ridiculous. What has happened here? They have issues. Negative 2.2 million. They went from a billion pounds to negative. Unbelievable. And they already have 56,000 wage budget. I remember the good old days when it was 4 million. As we are in 2063, obviously 40 years down the line, we've still got 60 years left to sim. We're going to give it another 10 years to see if Gloucester especially somehow do well. Obviously, they get into League One, maybe if they get into Championship, and another 10 years happen, and Gloucester's maybe in League Two. Western are still in the Vanarama National League. I may give them another billion. Another 10 years are done, and we are halfway through the 100 years with 2073 now, as Western still sit in the Vanarama National League, sitting in 8th. They've had a few promotions since we last saw them, getting promoted in 2064-65, winning the league, then getting relegated two seasons after. It took them three more years to win the league again, nearly got back-to-back -back promotions, finishing in fifth, losing the playoffs, and then relegated again. They are also back to semi-professional, which is concerning. I don't know why they would have gone back down. Oh, that's probably why they're broke. Brilliant. So that's amazing. So both teams, last time we saw Gloucester, they were also in negative balance. Now Western are in negative balance as well. That is not good. But unfortunately for Gloucester, they finished in 23rd, getting relegated from League One as they have sort of struggled and not got back to the championship for a long, long time, nearly 20 years. When we last saw them, they got promoted through the playoffs, then they got relegated, then they got promoted two seasons after through playoffs, then got relegated, then got promoted two seasons after due to winning the league, then stayed up for three seasons, and then just got relegated. Finances-wise, they are back into the positive, but not by much. So as I said last time, I was thinking about giving them another billion, and I think I will, because both teams now, Western have never made League One. Gloucester haven't made the championship for 20 years. I think it's time to give them another billion and see if they can just take it a step further. So it's been 10 years since we gave them another mill, and well, things have changed very quickly. Western are promoted to the championship after winning the playoffs. After beating Wimbledon on penalties after drawing 2 all at Wembley, they are now a championship team. And as you can see, when we left them, they sit in 8th in the Vanarama National League. And since then, it took two seasons for them to finish 3rd to get promoted. They never got relegated. And then they got promoted from the playoffs to Skybet League 2. And then they, got, they won the league. They actually played in the championship but unfortunately got relegated, but now they've been promoted straight away. It's brilliant stuff. In terms of their finances, they sit on 700 million. Obviously a massive transfer budget, massive wage budget, as you would expect. 
Facilities wise, I mean, they're okay. I mean, there's no really bad or really good ones. They're sort of just average. And they broke their record fee for a signing for 4.6 mil, signing Mark Clark from Reading, scored 20 goals in this season, pretty good. And their biggest ever sale was Rob Mason, who they signed for free, then sold for 7 million to Fulham. And really, as we look through what their transfer history has been like, they actually haven't spent all that much money. They spent 9, they spent 21, but they sold 11. They spent 300k, 400k, 2.5 million, 500k. Then they spent nothing, nothing, 200k. So since they actually gained the billion, they've not particularly spent a ridiculous amount to sort of get to the championship, which is nice to see. In terms of Gloucester, they finished in ninth in the championship. Yet to make it to the Premier League, but when we left them, they got relegated from League One. Then they won League Two. Nearly got promoted two years into League One, finishing third. But it took them another three years to get promoted, finishing second. Then they nearly got promoted to the Premier League, finishing in fifth, losing in the playoffs. Then they finished 11th and sixth, unfortunately losing in the playoffs again. And then ninth this season. In terms of finances, what the hell? What the, what do you mean? How have you spent that much money in 10 years? They have spent 990 million in 10 seasons. How have you managed that? Their facilities aren't exactly setting the world alight here. I don't know where they spent their money. That's unreal. The, the owner must have just drained the club of money. He must have just taken it into his pocket. Now, apparently in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see under transfer embargo due to breach of financial regulations. They're a bunch of cheaters. They are a bunch of cheaters. Gloucester, you're a cheating bunch of bastards. And they have been spending a lot of money. They spent 13 mil, 10 mil, 4 mil, 26, 58, 87, 87 million on signings, 50 million. 25 million. They are spending a ton of money, but I still don't know where that 900 million's gone. And I didn't actually check this, but they do have a new stadium called Gloucester Stadium built in 2049. So it was built quite a while ago. That's where a lot of the money would have gone. Nearly 20,000 capacity, not too bad. Western have also built a new stadium. This was more recent in 2070 with a capacity of 12,500. But for the first time... In a long time, these two teams will be playing against each other in the championship, which is a good sign. Hopefully, we will see one of them become a Premier League team for the first time. Who will it be? We're going to find out. Another 10 years has passed us, and well, both teams are still in the championship, which is great news. Since we last saw them, Weston got promoted to the championship through the playoffs, and since then have not been relegated, finishing 18th, 16th, 17th, 9th, 6th, so they nearly got promoted through the playoffs, 9th. 11th, then 3rd, so, so close, then finishing 10th, and this season 10th again. They were only 5 points short of making the Premier League, which is unfortunate. And only last season, they broke their transfer record, signing Anthony Whitehead for 25 million, and now he's valued at 300 to 900k. What's happened? Who is this guy, and how is he getting bought for 25 million? What a waste of money. And they also broke their record transfer fee received. And this guy looks like a great player. Grant Irvine, the Scottish man, moving to Dortmund. First, he moved to Wolves from Weston, then moved to Dortmund for 28 million. Not a bad player at all. Has some very nice stats. In terms of the finances, they still sit on 700 million, which is brilliant, making a lot of money. Now, look at their facilities 18 training facilities, 18 view facilities. That's absolutely brilliant. Now they're going to be able to produce Wonder Kids, hopefully. Now, in terms of Gloucester, obviously we know they are still in the championship, just finishing 21st on goal difference. And the last time we saw them, they finished 9th in the championship. And wow, if you look at this, two seasons later, they got promoted to the Premier League, the first club to ever make the Premier League out of them and Western. Unfortunately, they did get relegated in 19th in their first season. Since then, it's been a slow decline. 7th, 18th, 12th, 18th. 15th, 18th, and 21st this season. They've not been able to bounce back. But again, bottom left, under transfer embargo due to breach of financial regulations. I believe they had that last time. Financially, they're a mess. And as you can see, we gave them a billion 20 years ago. And you compare it to Western, they've still got 700 million in the balance. These guys have negative money. Unbelievable. Their facilities are pretty good. They have very good corporate facilities, but obviously a little bit behind Western with the 18 youth facilities they have. And now Gloucester actually have a record transfer fee received. They sold 
Levi Colbert to Liverpool for 51 million and then he sold to Villa for 60 million. He's got some good stats to be fair, so he's not a bad player. Now we do only have 30 years left, so we're hoping that in the 30 years that come, one of Gloucester or Western, or potentially both, which would be nice, establish themselves in the Premier League and maybe win a few trophies. But I've got to show you something. I just have to show you this. Sheffield United won the Premier League. 89 points, only three losses this season. The league's getting a bit wacky. It definitely is. It is obviously 70 years in the future and it is getting a bit ridiculous. You can see the past winners are sort of normal. United City, a couple of Newcastles, a few Tottenham's, a Villa in 2074. But other than that, it's pretty standard. But Sheffield United have come out of absolutely nowhere to win it all. Another 10 years in the dust. Western sit fourth in the championship. Unfortunately, they lost the player final 3-1 to West Brom. So they're not a Premier League team. Since we last saw them, they finished in 10th in 2092. Next season, they got 4th. They got 4th again, but promoted. Then they got relegated. 4th, won the league, relegated. 13th, 2nd, relegated. <laughs> Unbelievable. So they sort of a yo-yo team between the Championship and the Premier League, which is fine. In terms of finances, they still have 200 million in the bank balance, so hopefully they can not waste that all. Facilities-wise, they have very good facilities, nearly perfect. They broke their club record fee, Albert Okran, from Brentford for $32 million. Not a bad signing, he played a majority of the games. And their biggest sale coming from Ant Muzenjak, the Croatian. They sold him to Burnley. They've, well, they sent him on loan to Burnley. Then that Burnley paid $40 million before his move to Manchester City for 69. Now in terms of Gloucester, it is not good viewing. They have been relegated from League One. They are going down to League Two. Last time we saw them, they finished 21st in the championship. 21st, 20th, 13th, 11th, relegated, promoted. 21st, relegated, 13th, and then relegated again. It has been a steady decline from when they made the Premier League in 85-86. Finance-wise, at least they're not negative. That's a positive. Facilities-wise, they're pretty good, especially for a League 2 team they're going to be. I mean, as you can see, the money spent has completely collapsed. They've gone from spending 20 mil, 11 mil, 19, 17, 30, 16, to not even a mil at times. Not two mil, especially. They've really fallen off. They did receive 17 million for... But that is a massive fall from grace. And if we look at the Premier League, I showed you last time Sheffield United won it. As you can see on the right-hand side, they won it once. Then Arsenal, Newcastle, Arsenal, Newcastle. But then they won it again. And then they won it again. And then they went back-to-back, -back, winning four premierships in 10 years. Sheffield United are one of the biggest clubs in England. They've even won three Champions Leagues. 2088, 2098, and 2101, I guess. And a runner-up in 2099. What is this? And as um, I am a Southampton supporter, and there's a lot on the channel that watch Southampton videos, we nearly won the Champions League in 2061, if you wanted to know. We've won the Europa League seven times, won the UEFA Super Cup twice, won the English FA Cup four times, we've won the Conference League twice, Carabao Cup three times. Oh, bloody good. And now we only have 10 more years to go. And as you can see, Western are still in the championship as they finish 15th this season. And since we've left them, they have not been back to the Premier League as they finished in 16th, 13th, then relegated to League One, promoted straight back from League One, 15th, 13th, 18th, 17th, 7th, and 15th this season, which is a shame. That means they probably won't be a established Premier League club by the time the 100 years is up, which is a big loss. In terms of the finances, yeah, they're, they're not exactly got a billion left, that's for sure. And that's probably why they're starting a slow decline. In terms of Gloucester, they sit ninth in League 2, and they have very much fallen from grace. And wow, would you believe this? Last time we saw them, they got relegated from League 1. They finished 13th, then relegated from League 2, then relegated from the Vanarama National League. They went all the way back down to the 6th tier. They did get promoted by winning the league straight away. They finished 3rd, then they won the league again, getting back to Skybet League 2, finishing 15th, nearly getting relegated in 22nd to finishing in 11th and 9th this season. It has been a massive fall from grace. 
Their finances are looking healthy though, which is good. Obviously, they're not negative, which is a positive. Facilities-wise, how does that even make sense? So they've got 20 youth facilities, but they've got eight training. Um, yeah, fair enough. Who doesn't love a good youth academy? And now with only 10 years left, will we see Western make the Premier League or maybe finish in the Premier League? Or will they collapse like Gloucester and end up in the Vanarama National Leagues? So now the 100 years are up. It is June 1st in 21-23. This is the championship table. Western finished in 11th place. Since we last saw them, they've done absolutely nothing. Finishing in 8th, 14th, 14th, 10th, 12th, 20th, nearly getting relegated. 15th, 15th, and 13th. So in terms of their growth... They've come from Vitarama South, had a few seasons in the Premier League before sort of establishing themselves as a mid-table championship club. Finance-wise is a fine. Facilities-wise, what the... I don't even know how that's possible. They have one facilities. Uh, maybe it burnt down. That's about all I've got for you. That's unreal. And for our other team, Gloucester, they finished in 21st, just surviving on goal difference in the championship. So both teams in the 100 years in the championship, which is nice. When we last saw them, they finished 9th in League 2. They got promoted in the next season, finished 11th, 14th, 8th, 13th, 5th, and then finishing 6th and getting promoted through the playoffs, then getting relegated 24th. Then finishing second and getting promoted back to the championship and staying up this season, finishing in 21st. Finances-wise, they're fine. Facilities-wise, still got youth, good youth academy. Definitely better than Westerns with the solid one, which is shocking. So in terms of the 100-year sim, giving two teams one billion, as we found out, we actually gave them two billion, giving them a little bit of a boost midway through. Both teams sort of established themselves. Western established themselves as a championship team. Gloucester, more of a sort of a League 1, League 2 team, but are peaking right now. Not too bad. I didn't expect them really to get into the Premier League, but they did have a few appearances. Both clubs did have a few appearances in the Premier League. No major trophies won, no FA Cups, no Carabao Cups, obviously no participations in Europe, which is unfortunate, but not a surprise. Just a few league titles, few FA trophies back down in the Vanarama National. But other than that, pretty successful. 100 years gone by, giving them a good chunk of change, and they've sort of established themselves as championship teams. A few seasons in the Premier League, which is nice. But that is it for this experiment. Let me know what you thought. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you boys in... But I'll see you boys in the next FM experiment.